of this telescope, of this remarkable instrument we put in space, is finding things that we didn't expect, that we can't explain, because that means that we have to revise our understanding of the universe. Will the history of astronomy be divided between before Webb and after Webb? Yes, I believe it will be. Do you know about the golden telescope that we humans constructed? At the moment, it is capturing some incredible images of space. As it happens, it's so strong that it may have completely destroyed our conception of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope will see behind clouds of cosmic dust and gas to witness stars forming, observe the earliest galaxies to emerge in the early universe, and provide new information about potential life-supporting planets like Titan and Europa. This was truly unexpected by the scientists. There is nothing more we can do after the James Webb Telescope discovered unusual galaxies. Some of humanity's oldest questions should be addressed by this new powerful telescope, and the most recent study findings consistently surpass all expectations. There is space for entirely new meanings, and the old rules of the cosmos are disintegrating. Are we now approaching the universe's actual beginnings? Was the cosmos created by a black hole, or did the Big Bang never happen? The galaxy Jade's GSC-13 is so ancient that it defies explanation by conventional cosmological models. The galaxy, which was formed just 325 million years after the Big Bang, provides us with a unique window into a time in the universe's history that has not been thoroughly studied up to this point. In addition to its vast distance from Earth, Jade's GSC-13 is noteworthy for its significance to our knowledge of cosmic history. This galaxy provides us with a first-hand look at the state of the cosmos when it was ostensibly just starting to take on its current structure. James Webb's discoveries, however, demonstrate that this was not what our experts had predicted. According to the traditional explanations, galaxies like this one shouldn't even exist. JD's GSC-13 has too many old stars, is too big, and is too well-structured. Together with the discovery of 14 other extremely old and advanced galaxies, this finding poses brand new queries that upend the fundamentals of cosmology and astrophysics. It took billions of years for the light from JD's GSC-13 to reach us. We can see the galaxy as it was a long time ago, as well as into the past and near the Big Bang, because of this great distance. The range of James Webb is roughly 13.5 billion years. Although Hubble could see almost that far as well, it was unable to produce useful data from that time period. Even the smallest light signals can nevertheless reveal huge mysteries because to James Webb's construction. We can learn something about the source of each light wave by tracking it over billions of years in space and time. Based on their composition, structure, and the conditions under which they formed, the light from the 15 strange galaxies reveals that these intriguing objects are very different from what we had anticipated. They also cannot possibly fit into preconceived notions about the formation of stars and galaxies. Not only did the first stars and galaxies develop during the early epochs of the universe, but they also served as the basis for modern physics. In addition to testing some of our intriguing theories on galaxy evolution, the finding of JADESG SC13 calls into question the fundamentals of astrophysics. The James Webb Telescope's discovery of JADESG SC13 is a scientific wake up call and a significant milestone in astronomy. The JWST photos appear to indicate that there were numerous galaxies in the early cosmos that were as star rich as the Milky Way, according to Peter Van Dockum. A distinguished astronomer and Yale University professor is Peter Van Dockum. Dockum has gained notoriety, especially for his creative research employing cutting-edge technologies. As one of the first scientists to comment on James Webb's amazing observations, the astronomer goes right to the point. He was not among the scientists who questioned if the measurement data were genuine. It was true, he realized, and galaxies like JD's GSC-13 were closer to the Big Bang than we had thought. Many of his colleagues did not want this notion because it would drastically alter our cosmic history. To accept, Von Doom views the findings as a chance for science to acknowledge past errors and ultimately approach the truth. According to the Yale researcher, the universe now confronts scientists with an interesting task. Galaxies the size of our Milky Way existed 300 million years after the Big Bang. 
We can anticipate what new avenues these discoveries will lead us down in the field of physics. We will undoubtedly gain a whole new perspective on the Big Bang and its effects as a result of the new findings. John Mathers quote, I am almost certain that there is something wrong with our previous models of star formation. One thing is clear to John Mather, the father of the James Webb Telescope and a pioneer in astrophysics. Sure, we do detect galaxies in the pictures that are so old that they do not make sense in the context of our current understanding of the cosmos. But the big is undeniable, according to the astrophysicist and scientific director of the entire James Webb mission. John Mather is adamant that our views on the origins of the first stars and galaxies need to be reconsidered. One of the primary sources of data for all Big Bang theories and evidence is cosmic background radiation, which Mather is a pioneer in studying. This radiation is thought to be a direct remnant of the Big Bang and is still measurable in space today. For his efforts, Mather received the Nobel Prize in Physics, and experts respect his judgment. According to earlier star formation models, Solid stuff could not have formed in the cosmos because it was initially far too hot. The formation of molecules and the initial bonds between particles took hundreds of thousands of years. Eventually, these combined to create gas and dust clouds, which gave rise to the first stars. Groups of these stars then gradually formed. James Webb demonstrates that well-developed galaxies existed a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, while it would have taken billions of years for them to dance through space. These calculations indicate that the initial stars had to be massive blue supergiants that burn up quickly. There are now no signs of these so-called population three stars that James Webb has discovered. The pictures only show a stunning, intricate galaxy with stars of different ages. John Mather was a key contributor to the overall design and implementation of the James Webb Telescope as a senior project scientist. His goal was to create a telescope that would allow humans to see James Webb has now accomplished the first stars and galaxies. Now that the mission has been accomplished, the scientists will have to do the rest. Old theories will have to go for some, and we are already being surprised by new ideas. Consider a Big Bang scenario where prefabricated stars emerge from a black hole akin to fireworks from a rocket. This is an example of how the Big Bang might have appeared. Is that crazy? However, scientists were now able to reach precisely these new findings. In a recent publication, scientists from Princeton University and the University of Chicago proposed that a black hole might have served as our universe's midwife. Before the Big Bang, there was a quantum fluctuation that produced no detectable force or matter, according to both classical and quantum mechanics. A single point of suspension of this condition of absolute equilibrium was then guaranteed by some observer event. Matter can be formed from the nothingness of the quantum fluctuation by the observer. In quantum physics, this has been demonstrated multiple times. The time this observation was made came just before the Big Bang. The smallest radiation near a black hole's edge can perform precisely this function of an observer, as demonstrated by researchers from Princeton and Chicago. Long ago, renowned British astronomer and consciousness researcher Sir Roger Penrose presented his theory of the cyclical cosmos. It held that our Big Bang was the outcome of an earlier cosmos in which all matter had been swallowed up by enormous black holes. These black holes might have outlived worlds because they were the new universe's midwives. The James Webb Telescope discovered proof of the existence of ultra-massive black holes near the Big Bang in addition to the very old galaxies. These new hypotheses could be supported by all of these evidence. But what would a cyclical world actually entail in real life? There are a number of fascinating ways to address the question. First of all, it would imply the virtual immortality of our cosmos. Our cosmos might exist in the same way that Eastern religions envision our existence as beings in the universe, as an endless cycle of birth, life, death, and reincarnation. This would imply that creation is limitless in space and time. Multiple universes can exist simultaneously in the same space, as demonstrated by the research of Roger Penrose and other scientists who make similar hypotheses. It's feasible that the knowledge and matter building blocks that existed at the beginning of the cosmos were entirely different from what was previously thought. Black holes may have produced matter, stars, and possibly entire galaxies much sooner if they had vomited out all the information they had consumed in the old universe into the new one.
Therefore, there would not have been a dark epoch as previously thought, and our universe would have been inhabited by stars very early on. Of course, we can't rule out the idea that the Big Bang happened at a different time right now. In a compelling report, Indian-Canadian physicist Rajendra Gupta suggested that the universe might be 27 billion years old. Instead of mentioning the contentious dark matter, Gupta's calculations make reference to a change in gravity's effects. These novel ideas demonstrate that there are fully distinct and coherent explanations in addition to alternatives to the conventional cosmological model. The Webb Telescope's cutting-edge technology and unparalleled capacity to explore the early universe already mark a quantum leap in astronomical science. The telescope provides access to fresh information and understanding. More truth and knowledge for us can only result from the critically needed reevaluation and adaption of current cosmological models. Even prior to James Webb's debut, the Big Bang idea was not entirely definite. No one had ever witnessed the Big Bang or the Dark Ages, when no stars shine, but it made physical and mathematical sense. Only recently has new technology made this possible. There will be a lot more thrilling video hits in the future, so subscribe to the channel immediately.